Hi everybody, I'm Paul Kelly. We're here at the Temple Human Performance Center and I am really excited to introduce this new Physiokinetics Neuroband. It's two to five pounds, so it's really gonna work on that postural endurance, those intrinsic fibers for proprioception and stability. We're gonna show you five tips and techniques on how to use this band for performance. So technique number one, I'm gonna add the Neurobands to the pole or you can use your door anchors and we're gonna do dead bugs. Um, it's just a nice little added resistance to the dead bug to help work on control and focus and endurance. So I grab those, go ahead and roll out onto your floor. There's a lot of cool other exercises you can do with these on the ground. I'm gonna start with just the knees up with the arch in the back. I'm gonna pull to whatever's comfortable and then I'm gonna start cross patterning. And it's all about slow focus. Trying to engage those shoulder blades. So I'm really working a lot of rotator cuff here just to engage. Let's say I've done 10 to 15 to 20 of these back and forth. Then I would just switch out, put them right onto the feet, keep the feet in dorsiflexion, which I really like this one for. And then same thing, you got a cross pattern with dorsiflexion. So it's a little tougher and it's training those people to pull those toes up, which I really like. And they're gonna feel this a lot more in their hip flexors and the psoas, major muscles and minor muscles and all those stabilizers for your spine. So work your ranges, two sets, 30 reps. Maybe you do upper and lower, grab them, switch back and forth. Try the dead bug with the bands. Okay, another variation that I like of the dead bug is just to go ahead and get inside the box. I taught a workout on the channel in the box. Try this one. Put it around your feet, get your knees up, put your arms up, create that box so you have a little separation between upper and lower, arch that back, and then cross pattern. And remember, it's gonna be a little difficult because you're trying to move slow and controlled in this motion. Notice how I'm pulling the band apart too, so we're working a lot of upper and lower flexor extensor type muscle here, and we're coordinating the body as we stabilize the trunk. Try this one, you'll like this addition to the dead bug. Okay, the next exercise is going to be the segmental roll with the Neuroband Assist. I really like the Neuroband added into it. It really changes the focus, really makes you have to focus, and it really gives that core, that challenge that we're looking for. So go ahead and tie off. I've got it right there. I'm gonna start with this arm here on the band. Go ahead and find your place on your mat. Take your opposite hand and reach it over your head. You can either have it down like this all the way on the ground or you can have your leg up. It doesn't necessarily matter. I'll keep the knee up, show you how I do an SI glide with it. So we just come over with that band and we drop that knee over and then we reach, okay? So you can throw in a little bit of the knee or the low back. If you'd like to lift that up too with it, you could do it this way. That kind of gives you a little help. And then notice how I push. And then I come all the way back to the ground. Now let's say it's segmental and I don't want to do it differently. I would just roll, challenge that rotation, come back. I like this because it really helps open me up. Notice how I'm staying connected. And then I roll back. Opposite way too, you could do it the other way around too if you wanted to. So you could go here, have them this way, hold the band, and have them really work on those back muscles all the way to the floor. And then say they had problems getting back over and you wanted some assistance, use the band. That helps to pull them back over. All right? So I hope you like that addition to the segmental roll. So another great exercise that I do with this neuroband is going to be the kneeling plank with the band assist. And so I like this because it's teaching posture. So you can do this several ways. You can hold this straight over your head. You could hold it to your chest. This helps you a little bit more than when you turn around. And it gives you that weight into those quads and that psoas and that core. It teaches you how to knee hinge with the straight body. So it's not only opening up the quads, core, it's also strengthening eccentrically with a little added assist. Now turn around in the band and make it a little harder. When you're ready for this, and they can do those successfully, and they've got body mechanics that look nice, put them this way. Make sure their toes are pointed so they can use the tib anteriors. 
Hip hinge back, chest stays up with the band. As they come forward, they can throw in a press. If they want to make it harder, they're straight lining it. Everything's in a straight line. Of course, these are a lot harder. Make sure they can do each segment progressively correct. See if they like those. Another great technique I use my neuroband for is the window pane squat. The window pane squat is a great thoracic mobility exercise and hip hinge exercise. Corrects the form of the squat, shows where the restrictions are in the rib cage and in the ankles. So put your band on the feet. I put my mat up against there, I put my feet right in between the X guy so I kind of know where I'm at and then I walk it forward. I want to be as close to that wall as possible so I come all the way in, I've got the band here and now I'm going to press the band straight up and I want to hold it up as I squat. So I'll start that squat, I'll push my hands actually a little back which opens up my chest even more and then I will try to maintain that as I squat. Now remember on this window pane squat, it's gonna force you back in those heels. Take it down as comfortable as possible without falling backwards. This is a great exercise to reshape your posture in your form. Okay, the last technique I wanna show with these new neuro bands is the sit back squat overhead pull and I want to show a little rotator cuff routine that you can do real easily with these bands to help the performance of the shoulder girdle. So first I wrap both of them on a bar. These things stick pretty good. They're made out of real rubber and they're going to be really long lasting, which is nice. I have yet to break my first bands. They're two years old. Of course, if you do something stupid like put around something sharp, you'll do that. So once you've got this here, go ahead and step back. Get your pad if you've got a crash pad one of our pads, go ahead and put it behind you. Find your distance that you like. So I kind of put that back where I like that distance. And then what I want to do is just come on the outside. That gives me a nice, a little bit over shoulder width stance. And I like to have a nice even stance. Notice how it also gets my feet facing the right directions. So on this first one, I'm just going to rotate those rotator cuff muscles. I want to pivot at the elbow. There's a lot of ways to do rotator cuff. This is one of my favorites. If you're having impingement though, keep the elbows below parallel with the floor. We don't want impingement. Notice how I'm trying to pivot right around the point of the elbow. Okay, so that can be improved to this. If you wanted to make it harder, move forward, row, rotate. That's another really nice one, just to get those lower shoulder stabilizers. Of course, we could reach all the way up. Okay, so for the gray cook squat, it's a really good one. You overhead squat, hip back as you overhead pull. So it's a, like a snatch or overhead squat. Sitting back, it gives you something to sit back into. And this is the right tension for me. It's not overkill, it's not killing me. I'm actually be able to control it. If you can't go overhead, you got your fly. Hold that fly ISO, throw a knee band on, make it harder. Weights in my heels. Hope you enjoyed that version of the Neuroband Gray Cook Squat and Rotator Cuff. Okay, I hope you like some of those techniques using our new two to five pound Physiokinetics Neuroband. Check them out, show us what you do with those Neurobands out there. Like and give us some comments on things you'd wanna see in the future and we'll get those out to you. I hope you enjoyed some of those techniques and go move for life.